Aloha Shavers. Shit, wrong channel. <laughs> Moon Soaps Week continues with Sorrento. This is their original tallow formula. As you can see, six ounces. Kind of small down there, but six ounces. Nice hefty tub. Nice uh, side labels. Moonsoaps.com right there. Sorrento. From the butcher to the barber. I love that. Um, and then it has the ingredients around the outside. You can kind of see those. That outside ring. Has all the necessary information. Doesn't it? CDB. So this one is a beautiful citrus forward aquatic. Um, it, that easily sums it up. I've already done a review of Sorrento. But that's the quick and dirty version. It's already uh, pretty late if you can see over there. So <clears throat> I figured I'd just get in a quick one. This right here is um, Eagle Rare. I saw John from Latherhog talk about it multiple times, so I figured I'd give it a shot. I'm a noob, real noob when it comes to uh, uh, whiskeys, bourbons, any liquors. I stopped. I kind of stopped going down that path um, when I was young partied a lot <clears throat> I uh, kind of steered away from liquors and started getting more into the beers but now I'm kind of I'm attempting to work my way back into the liquors with bourbons and whiskeys and um, rums for starters pretty much anything's on the table but that's where I'm that's where I'm dipping my toes into into it so, I've definitely had some stuff that I like so far. And this Eagle Rare is good. I think where I picked it up, it was like $33 before tax. But it did say sale on the tag, so who knows. It's starting to, uh, starting to paste up. I guess I should have showed you. I'm using my, uh, my turn and shave custom here. This one has the uh, emerald top and emerald running through the middle with gold flakes surrounding it just a real beautiful brush and this one has the b4 hype knot i mean tip knot the 28 millimeter it is extremely soft and there's a hair it looks like just yank that out of there um yeah this, um, when I, when I was buying this, the V4 tip knot was getting a ton of praise. And it's a good knot, um, don't get me wrong. But I feel like it has its quirks that need to be learned. And, um, and then you can, you know, yield the best results with it. I had a rough start with it, but I think we got it figured out now still not my favorite knot. I think it costs more and I don't feel like it gives me as good of results as my favorite knots, but I still do get enjoyment out of it. <clears throat> this is looking pretty good, but I'm going to add another round of water, maybe just a little one this time. <clears throat> so, Moon Soaps, I wouldn't say that they're overly thirsty but well I guess I shouldn't say that this moon soaps because they have different bases you kind of got to read into it on their website to see which one's which but um, this one here's their original tallow formula and uh, this one here I don't think it's overly thirsty but kind of like Ken said it can take water if you give it to it so, it's kind of good for beginners or more experienced types. That's a pretty good start right there. I'll go ahead and wet the face. It's been hot, but actually it's kind of, kind of fresh out there at the moment. 
So it's about 11 o'clock shave. I made dinner and kind of watered the garden and then me and the wife went grocery shopping and uh, just kind of sat on the couch for a while. The shave was in the back of my mind, but honestly, I was half thinking of skipping it. But I figured I got everything ready. I had the shave of the day picks ready and everything. All I needed to do was bust it out, so. These not, or this uh, not, the tips are super duper soft. And when people talk about jelly, like, the tips on this one are like the definition of jelly, where they almost have a unique face feel because of it, because of how jelly they are. It's very dense as well, densely packed with uh, fibers or uh, natural hairs, whatever. It's, um, at first I thought it was a lather hog, but I think because of the density of the hairs, it's not so much a lather hog. You just need to load it heavy. Um, Cause I, I don't think it's eating the lather. I just think because of the density of the hairs, you need a lot of product. So, I load heavy. I'm gonna be using the 14 karat gold Eversharp Schick Injector, the same one that's on the picture in the back. Love this thing. It's in good condition. And it still shaves well. Like I always say, if you're looking for these vintage razors, definitely hit up eBay and Etsy. And um, don't be afraid of a little bit of soap scum because you can clean that, you know, with like some warm water and an old toothbrush. What you should be concerned about is kind of deep scratches or repairs that are kind of outside of your ability to repair, you know what I mean? But a little, a little scrub and a little polish is, you know, a pretty easy feat. So don't don't let a little a little uh, soap scum uh, scare you off from a good find. One of my viewers was um, asking what I thought about moon soaps compared to other elite bases. And I don't really dive down that rabbit hole often. That's good stuff, John. I don't really dive down that rabbit hole often. Because <clears throat> I'm kind of of the opinion pretty much everything gets the job done. And nowadays almost everything has some level of luxury to it. But, um, I would say Moon Soaps is definitely, definitely running with the pack, um, above average. <clears throat> I can't, in all honesty, say I think it's the best I've ever tried, but it is luxurious, and, um, it's definitely up there, you know what I mean, with the elites it's up there and they have different soap bases like I said and they all have their own 
you know, unique feelings to them. But I think each base kind of achieves that status individually that they are um, high quality. I wouldn't hesitate picking up any one of their soap bases. I just got kind of like a thin, dense layer on, but if I wanted to, I suppose I could have built it up for days and days. Not necessary in my opinion. No matter what platform I'm shaving with, whether it's DE, Schick, Straight Razor, I don't need that big pillowy lather. <clears throat> kind of nice with the cricket in the background I don't know about y'all but me and the wife were mandal shopping today while we were getting groceries picked up a couple had a black sandalwood one with a wood wick. That we both agreed was very nice. So, uh... I've been seeing a bunch of people participating in Moon Soaps Week, and I think that is fucking awesome because Moon Soaps, I felt like was relatively um, flying under the radar there for a while, even to me. And, um,. It's funny because I kind of bought their line, their whole fucking line, in a relatively quick <laughs> um, fashion. I bought the first two, loved them, then around the next time Sorrento came out, I picked up a few more, loved them, <laughs> and uh, before you knew it, I had all of them. Uh, I guess I don't have a full tub of Union, but a sample of Union was sent to me, so I've tried all of them. But they are fantastic. <clears throat> and they're getting more play <laughs> than most things right now in my den. Moon Soaps is getting a lot of play compared to other other brands right now not just because they're kind of popular but because I'm really enjoying them I could easily recommend every scent you know what I mean and have no no worries about my decision to recommend them to people I think they're fantastic So, day two, maybe not as exciting as day one with the Kamasuri, but this is a late night shave. I'll be going to bed pretty much right after this. I saw my buddy Ken got a couple Lancaster towels, a brush, and a bowl. And I think that's fucking awesome. Now he's kind of, I can finally, you know, I don't have to be ashamed of him anymore. I can finally show him to the parents, take him to the parents and 
show them this person I've been talking about? No. <laughs> <clears throat> They're like, oh, I thought you just had an imaginary friend. You know, you keep talking about this guy, nobody knows. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so we're going to be using the Gypsy. I find uh, this one kind of has that same, like, pineapple note that Sorrento has. It's different. Um, it's not, it doesn't have an aquatic vibe like Sorrento does, but it's still good stuff. Just got to make sure that I get that... Uh, urea nice nice and blended in there definitely want to make sure you get that urea blended in there we go let's get this all over the fucking face oh fuck yeah no oh, did it did it touch the lips let's get some more of that it's more of that fucking goodness. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Probably get some up there, too. Why the hell not? <clears throat> and I love the scent on the Gypsy. Great stuff. I think that was uh, the Healers. It was rebranded as the Healers. But the Gypsy's fantastic. And a little bit more Eagle Rare. So a little recap. Moon Soaps. Sorrento. Awesome scent. I think this one is a crowd pleaser. Citrus Aquatic. I don't think most people would have any problems with that. <clears throat> I use the Eversharp Schick Injector, the 14 karat gold version. My Turn and Shave Custom, Emerald and Gold Flake with the V4 Tip Knot. And of course my Lancaster Bowl that I use almost every shave. My Lancaster gear is kind of like the staple in my den. I love the the gear and he makes a good soap too <clears throat> all right so i suppose i'll finish it up i think i recapped everything yep we'll finish where we started with some eagle rare cheers guys i'll catch you tomorrow for more moon soaps week <clears throat>